Okay, blank screen. It all starts with this sample here, which is Show Me by Seal. Now obviously in the sample you can play this at different keys. You get the idea, that was a very popular technique in the early and mid 90s. So anyway, we actually need to pitch this up slightly and split it into two. So once it's in two, we have the first part of the sample and the second part of the sample. And when layered over the top, That basically gives us the start of the intro. I wondered for years how they did the synth that goes on top, the sort of twinkly sound. And the answer is just to play higher. So that's the beginning. And in the original production, they used pitch bend as well. Check this out. It actually sounds pretty badly done, but it works, so whatever. For effects, I've got an EQ just to roll off high frequencies, tape emulator for saturation. Delays, I wasn't sure what to do for delays exactly. I'm not sure how they did it originally, but I only wanted to use stock plugins, and this is what I've ended up with. Here's how it sounds all together. Nice and floaty. Next we have the magical sample, Dr. Alimentado. Time you have the dread, 12 not and if we granulize that, we can slow it down. You Actually, you can have a lot of fun in here. Anyway, how it should sound is like this. What the time you have the dread? and we'll need to just roll off the top and bottom a little bit. Some ping pong delay for a stereo effect. Tiny touch of reverb. All together sounds like this. What the time you have the dread? There's also a delay on the overall sample. I've done this by producing a delay that's panned strictly to the right, and then I've sent that delay into another delay that's panned strictly to the left, and you put them all together, it sounds like this. What the time you have the dread? Then we need the other part of that sample, which is also on the same sample CD. Same set of effects as before. Also time stretched inside Pad Shop, the granulizer. Then walk when a gunman back me up around the corner. Very nice. So of course we need the gunshot with a little bit of EQ. That's again from the very same sample CD as the vocals. And then we have this acid bass which is actually from the first ever cover disc on Future Music magazine. So it wasn't the first ever issue of Future Music magazine, but it was the first one to come with a CD on the front, and it had this sample on there. And we need to reverse it, obviously. Then we have a think break. The original breakbeat is from Think About It by Lynn Collins, but this version actually is sampled from Heavy D and the Boys. And in fact, I believe that Ascend and Ultra Vibe got it off the same sample CD that had the gunshot and the vocal samples on it, because that's where I got this from. So let's put those together. We need a slight bit of EQ for that bass, a touch of reverb, hardly noticeable, and the breakbeat could do with a tiny bit of EQ as well. And it wouldn't be a 94 jungle banger without some Amen breakbeat. Sped up to the project tempo, of course, and here's the EQ for that. Here's that with the Think and the Acid bass. So the only sample that we haven't talked about so far is the Innocent sample. Can't 
You get the idea, but let's stretch that up. We'll also need quite a few effects for that. I've just copied the exact same effect chain that was on the reggae vocals, so that sounds like this. And we also have a version that's even more stretched than that. Lovely stuff, very 90s. Now, the only thing that we haven't discussed is the effect on the Amen breakbeat on this section. It's supposed to get all metal and twisted. I'm not too sure how they did that back in the day. They obviously had some kind of effect unit that I don't have, and I'm certainly not using it now because I'm trying to use all stock plugins. But what I've done for the metallic effect is to use an effect send channel and each of those has a mixer delay with a millisecond offset and then I've automated for each one of those the point where it's supposed to come in. And that gives the effect. It just automates level up so basically both the delayed signal and the dry signal are playing at the same time when these are automated. So let's see if it turned out any good then. Yeah. 
gunman back me up round the corner. Thank you.